Hi, my name is Jan Underwood and I work for Central Alberta Refugee Effort as the Public Awareness Coordinator and I'm also the producer of this performance, Journeys of Hope. Four years ago, I saw a very, very simple version with just uh, three people doing this kind of thing in a, in a conference. I decided right there and then that one day I would do something like this, tell refugee stories, um, but also because I, I quite often uh, do something for Alberta Culture Days. I thought it would be a good um, match to, to do the two things together. Um, partly because I work with immigrants and refugees and um, I think it's very, very important to tell their story. Um, and I wanted to incorporate that with different art mediums um, in the best way that we could. <laughs> My name is Zelka Udovicic and I'm from Croatia. Reports tonight of a massacre taking place in Srebrenica, Bosnia. Well, I feel really uh, good and I'm really excited. This is the story we don't, well, I don't tell personally really often. ...thrown into mass graves, or women and children from the area were transported to another location. This is the best representation, actually, what happened to me in my life. So, uh, I was a young girl who was forced to leave. I was living in Serbia, in a city that I'd never been before, alone, with no family, no friends. One person really saw me. She really reached out to me and she helped me. When the war started, I was 13. I had to move away. Well, it's a bit longer and complicated story. My friends. When the war started in 1991, we made the decision that it would be best for me to go to Serbia. But they stayed my dad there were a hope that there will be a peace one day because united nations arrived at that time when like we were applying for visas we just wanted to get out but canada was one of the countries who offered refugee status to immigrants like us so my family they had to stay in my hometown right because my dad was under military obligation he couldn't leave because it's simple rules. If you're not with us, you're against us. And my mom, um, she's different religion, so she was looked like almost an enemy too. Hey, buddy, you don't belong in this country. How about you go home? All right. Justin Trudeau is ruining this country. You all know this. Justin Trudeau is ruining this country. Yeah. Yeah. These people in. They don't. Yeah. They don't. They don't do anything useful. They take all our jobs. I've been under work for like a year and a half. I'm uh, Jason Steele, and I'm the artistic director for uh, Journeys of Hope. Yeah, under Jan, very far second. <laughs> She's been intense on this one. Um, most of what we saw in the stories, what was presented to us, was where did they come from? The dangers they faced, the challenges they faced in their home countries. But I'm very well aware that not everybody is friendly towards refugees. I had to be careful with it though because our main goal with this project was to share the stories, not to teach, not to beat somebody over the head with an anti-racism message. That wasn't our goal. There were multiple stories that came up of him being treated differently because of the color of his skin, because he's got an accent, because he's from somewhere else. And 
I thought, you know, this is an important part of his story, and it's not all sunshine and rainbows in Canada. We, we like to think that we're this loving, peaceful, perfect country, but we have our problems you too. This? Wait, this guy brainwashed me a soldier. He's in our country. What, what, what is this? I mean, come on, there's people like you that let him into this country without even thinking about it. It'll scream these people. Sir, we don't appreciate your racist comments. This has been community theater. There's no need to call the police. I'll, I'll take care of that. I'll take care of it. I'll talk to him true community theater because we're taking people from from the community who have nothing to do with theater we're taking real life stories from our community members putting them onto a stage like it's the truest deepest form of community theater and i, and I think it's absolutely beautiful to see uh alberta culture coming through in these stories mike please what are you even is this the stupidest thing are you kidding why would you give mike we're Canadian. You have a freedom of speech. <laughs> My name is Ethel Suarez. I am from Uruguay. Chapter 3. My life in Uruguay was very much like life in Canada. Well, because we left Uruguay, have to leave Uruguay for a political reason in 1974. And we went to Argentina, and Argentina was not a different situation from Uruguay. And again, in 1977, the Argentinian government denied our permanent paper and we have to ask for um, protection to the United Nations. And after they select us to go to the Canadian Embassy, and Canada accept us, and we came to Canada in 1977. Um, September the 4th, 1977, we land here. They took my husband away. They took my father away. Behind every refugee is a story. And people need to know that refugee, we don't come here because, aha, we go to Redier or we go. No, no. They put him in a cell with dirt floor and a metal ceiling. They covered his head with a hood and they tied his hand behind his back. They made him stand for hours. He was not allowed to sit unless the guard on duty told him he could. He could hear loud music, but it did not cover up the screaming of others as they were being tortured. The soldiers stomped on the jail's roof. It was made of metal sheets. Behind our story, Behind us, refugee, there are a story that the people in the community need to know. From that day on, we were nobody. Immigrants, they decide to come. They decide to come and said, but refugee, we don't have another choice. My name is Asdullah Khairandish. I'm from Afghanistan. I wanted to tell my story, special for Red Deer people or, or special for other refugees. It's not easy to leave your country but uh, there is a chance, there is a light uh, at the end of the tunnel. It's in my poem too.
گرچی در دیار قربت روزگارم چون شب است In this different world I feel like a displaced person Never give up never give up yeah hope is uh, best thing for people who is um, left their country and uh, because I experienced at Syria we were alone no family no friend no supporting لحظه بارانی شوقه ابر پاک نوبهار Today may seem dark and foreboding We are lucky to be in Canada to become in Canada because if we never came to Canada I don't know what will happen on my kids on or my wife or myself because we were under another war in Syria. We left my country because of war and uh, in Syria. It was a good time for the first or second years, but the third years, the war start, slowly started in Syria. My name is Matt Gould, and I'm the director of Asdola Karandash Sketches from a Life. This rug is a story rug. It is not a regular rug. It is like a book to me. It was Taliban time and I designed the rug to give some information to the people with my designs on it. I really love it. It's a, it's a different kind of a production because these are people's very personal stories that a group of artists have come together to respond to and create pieces from based on their narratives and they're very moving the narratives and challenging you know for those of us who are kind of born in a place of privilege it's amazing to hear how some people got here there are lots of designs on the rug the first one here is the three colors black white and red. It means people want to fight the Taliban. When they sacrifice someone from their family, it is in hopes for a better future. Yes, they're certainly dark and they're very serious and you'll see that in the performances. So when we're on stage and we're working, yes, I'm in the moments where the bombs are dropping or I'm working in the bazaar or I'm having an, an internal fight with my family because we're trapped in Syria and, and we don't have any other place to go. But then when we're working, just like all human beings, we want to laugh. You know, you want to get together, you want to have that lightness, because that's part of the process and connecting. Dupas, everybody! I, I was pleasantly surprised at the performance. I knew that something was happening, but I didn't think it was going to be this stupendous, you know, this wonderful performance that we have. And I honestly believe that they should take it to some other venue and present it to a much larger audience than they did here tonight. Central Alberta Refugee Effort. So they're an organization, a non-profit organization in Central Alberta works with and helps integrate people who've come from other countries and refugees. The first half had me in tears, most definitely. And I don't think it's the kind of thing, you know, um, we're going to rub your nose in it, you lucky Canadians who might have been born in central Alberta, whatever. It has nothing to do with that. It's more, look at the wonder of the world. And look at these people who are now contributing to our community and have come from these pretty darn bleak backgrounds and yet they're still here a part of the community participating working raising their families and i think enriching the community even though that sounds like a cliche but they're bringing to it their own energy their own sense of life on the planet in your head against my shoulder This world is getting colder I will 
keep you warm and safe You just need some love and faith So come on sister Let me love you all that time Welcome on brother Let me ease your One of the mind. most important parts is that people who generally did not know anybody that was a refugee before this will perhaps have a different understanding more compassion, more empathy for what some of these folks have gone through and maybe realize that they are actually of great value to our country um, and a huge benefit and that it's a great thing to get to know them. I will be here when it's all over Always we will need each other Sister and brother. These folks have integrated while doing something that's very natural to, to them, you know, evolving, working on a project, making it happen. And I think some of these friendships will last and the thrill of being in a theatrical production, I think that will last, it will endure. And also um, all the artistic ways of showing things, whether it be film or um, song, or dance, um, I think these folks will stay engaged in that kind of activity. And to me, to me that made it all worthwhile. The process was worth it. Believe me, you're not alone. Then my number will use the phone. I will answer and say hi. If you're scared, just tell me why So come on sister Let me love you all the time Welcome on brother Let me ease your 